Hey, I'm Andre from Rush Sports, and I'm going to run you through the difference in bearings. First, I just want to start off and give a bit of a round, rounded approach as to the various components that make up a cartridge bearing. A lot of you may have heard loose phrases and slogans around bearings, one of the most common and popular of which is ABIC. Now, ABIC stands for Angular bearing engineers committee and it's basically a committee of engineers that sit together and determine various categories by which a bearing can be graded now the higher the ABIC number in theory the higher the grade of the bearing now this isn't to say that a bearing with a higher ABIC grade will last longer than a bearing with a lower ABIC grade it's just to say that the grade is higher some of the various things that they look at in the ABIC rating are things like tolerance of the inner and outer races of the bearing, tolerance and roundness of the balls which are made up inside of the bearing, the noise at which the bearing will run when it's at high speed, and various other things, play, resistance, etc. Running down through the components of a bearing, just to give you guys a bit of background. Your bearing is made up of a few different items. You have your outside race, your inside race, two seals on each side. Beneath these seals is a series of balls which is sometimes contained in a retainer and obviously grease on which the bearing runs. Now starting again from the top, I'll give you a bit of info on the importance and some of the technology and features that go into each of these. Your outside and inner race, as well as the balls, are made of a very high quality, extremely hard, heat treated chromium steel. This chromium steel is designed to take immense loads, which is what you can expect such a small bearing will take when it's loaded by a wheel or a crankset or a linkage. So obviously the consistency and hardness of the steel is very important. Another thing that's important when you're taking into account the races is the tolerance. These bearings are pushing in to areas where tolerance is critical. The finish of the outside races, not only where it's pushing into the material, but also the surface on which the balls run is obviously extremely important. A higher quality bearing is going to have an exceptionally good running surface. Moving on to the seals, various different seals are used. You get single contact lip seals, double contact lip seals, you get low rolling resistance silicone seals or no seals at all depending on the application of the bearing. Beneath the seals as I explained are a series of balls that are arranged either in a cage which separates the balls or in the case of a full complement bearing without a cage altogether slotting in as many balls in the bearing as possible this obviously increases the load carrying capacity of the bearing the material on which the balls run is a lubricating substance whether it's grease or oil depending on the application and depending where the bearing is used this is also very important this grease is used for a number of things other than just the lubricating of the bearing the grease is used as a seal to keep out contaminants to prevent corrosion from salt water and other contaminants that may enter the rubber seal and of course it's used to prolong the life of the bearing increase um, the lubrication and thus increase the life of the bearing itself. Taking into account all of these different components that make up the bearing, you'll see why it's important to select the correct bearing for the application on your bicycle. And this is something where Enduro are truly unique in their approach to bearings. Enduro look at the bicycle and the bearings holistically and decide and determine the type of bearing they're going to specify depending on the application. As you would imagine, what you need in your wheel 
on your bicycle is very different to what you would need in a pedal or a suspension linkage. And Enduro take all of these different components and their strengths and weaknesses and combine them together to get the best possible bearing for the intended application. And this really is something that separates them from every other competitor in the market. Here is our spread of our three most popular bearing ranges from Enduro, beginning with ABIC 3, which is their standard bearing range. ABIC 3 is a great all-round bearing. It uses high quality inner and outer races as well as balls. It uses a double LLU type rubber seal to keep out contaminants with a great waterproof grease beneath that seal in order to further improve the life of the bearing, keeping contaminants out and ensuring that it doesn't corrode when it's exposed to salt water and other corrosive substances. So this ABIC 3 is a great bearing choice for general applica application around the bicycle, but I would specify it more towards rolling parts, wheels, pedals, bottom brackets. Moving on from ABIC 3, we have here one of the larger max bearings. Now, max bearings are Enduro's line of linkage specific bearings. Using much the same inner and outer race as well as seal configuration to the ABIC 3, where the max bearings are different is it's a full complement bearing. And what that means is instead of a, a race and a cage inside the bearing separating the balls, there's no cage whatsoever. And by removing that cage, Enduro free up space between these inner and outer races to introduce more ball bearings inside the bearing itself. And what that does is it drastically increases the load carrying capacity of the bearing. Now one interesting thing to remember here is that not all balls are created equal. You can have two bearings of exactly the same size side by side, but it doesn't necessarily mean that their load carrying capacity is the same. So simply by introducing 20% more balls, Enduro are able to increase the load carrying capacity by 200%. Similarly to this, by changing the design of the inner and outer race and allowing for a larger ball diameter, Enduro are also able to increase the load carrying capacity of the bearing itself. So max bearings are ideally suited towards linkages where you've often got a very small bearing that's taking an extremely high load and it's simply oscillating backwards and forwards. It's actually not rotating. So in applications like that, premature wear is quite common. That's where max is your friend. On the higher performance side of things, the ABIC 5 range of bearings is a great option for guys who want to get the most performance they can out of their bicycle without going to the exorbitant expense of ceramic bearings. ABIC 5 bearings use, as we introduced, a higher ABIC rating than the ABIC 3 or the MAX bearings. And essentially what that means on this specific bearing and range is that the surfaces on which the balls roll and the balls themselves are built to a higher tolerance. In addition to this, Enduro use a low friction silicone seal as opposed to your rubber seal. Now this again just reduces the drag on the bearing itself. Behind the seal, Enduro use an exceptionally high quality grease which though may not have the sealing abilities of the thick waterproof greases that are found in the ABIC 3 and MAX bearings, this is a high performance grease which reduces the rolling resistance of the bearing. So in terms of high performance bearings for wheels, hubs and pedals, your ABIC 5 is a great option for anyone looking to get that extra advantage.